How you guys doing today? This is Alex with Auto Key Security Services. I'm currently working on a ME 9.7 Mercedes computer. I am using Hexproc to uh, to clone the computer. Could have used my BDM, but you know my my jig right there. But I like to uh, I like to solder better connections I've already did a backup of it and I am finishing up I'm about to finish up the last read on it which is the EEPROM I want to read the EEPROM what I like about Hexprog it's nice and fast now I'm done reading the EEPROM it's already saved I mean it's already there I'm gonna save it I'll be back in a little bit I'm gonna uh, be back when I have the other computer wired up and and writing the, the files to it okay now I have the this is the donor computer I always like to make a backup of the donor even though I'm writing over it but I like to have a backup of it just in case just in case I end up having to use, uh, you know, uh, restoring the files and then using the star, star scanner for Mercedes. But right now, when you make a backup with Hexprog, it'll read the P flash, extended flash, and the EEPROM combine it into one file. But once I do that backup, I also read them individually, just to have, you know, just to be on the safe side. Once I'm done um, backing everything up, I'll walk you along the process of writing it. Okay, be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm currently writing the P flash. It takes a while doing a write operation because it writes and verifies at the same time. There you go actually erases it too actually does erase it and then flashes it and then rewrites you know rewrites the file that you have chosen and everything soldered on okay that is complete now we're gonna go to extended flash we are going to write. Now I'm going to select extended flash. <clears throat> and we will continue along once I'm finishing up writing the heat prompt. And then we'll start it. Okay, here goes. I have selected the uh, the extended EEPROM. Now I have to select extended EEPROM right here. Once that's done. This is gonna go. I just did this car in the earlier video that I posted. This car right here got struck by lightning. That's my next job. And this is the Mercedes that the computer's going into. GLK 350. That one right there. Come back momentarily. When I am starting the vehicle, I have to assemble the. I have to take everything apart, temporarily assemble it, and go start it. I had to go get my phone. <clears throat> there you go. I installed the computer. And 
she cranked right up. I have some codes here for the ABS whatever. But I checked that earlier before uh, somebody started to do a road test on the vehicle and didn't complete it. I guess uh, an ABS adaption, excuse me, it's hot, it's, it's very, very hot. It's like 97 degrees outside. But take the key out, put it back in, turn right on. Successful clone of a ME 9.7 using hex proc. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Have a nice day.